Hey guys, so today we are going to a hot air balloon festival. I believe it's a three day event, but we are going on the very first uh, night because I think we do have plans for tomorrow. So yeah, we're excited. I know it's not as big as the ones in other states, but uh, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it and see what it has to offer. All right, so we made it. Uh, the drive was not that bad. It is in Selma, Texas, which is literally just outside San Antonio, or you, many people consider it San Antonio. Um, so yeah, let's go explore. All right, so right off the bat, as soon as we enter, there's a line and we check out it's uh, some goodie bags. So that's always a plus. Never say no to that. Yeah, but as soon as we saw where the balloon was, we definitely had to head that way. Look at that, if that run does not yell excitement, I don't, I don't know what does. Yeah. Alright, so after spending some time at the, the uh, balloon, taking some pictures, some video, and just enjoying the moment, we noticed a petting zoo, so we definitely had to rush over. It's something that um, we enjoy doing when possible. Uh, the one thing I do love is that Mateo is not afraid to go pet him, go touch him, go play with them. Now, sometimes he can be a little too aggressive, and that uh, does scare me, uh, but I'm glad that he's willing to do it. Unlike myself, I'm a little more hesitant. Uh, sometimes I won't even dare. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad that he is not like me in that sense. All right, so after having uh, spent some time with the animals and enjoyed them, um, we were now looking for the area where the kids can run around, play, and enjoy themselves. I think they have some carnival rides around here, uh, so that's where we're heading. So it looks like Elizabeth did find a spot to play, um, but everything else that we see around here seems to be a little too big for Mateo. Until we looked a little further in the distance and we came across this. <laughs> kids were definitely enjoying themselves in the play area but we did notice that the hayride was coming around there was no line and we took advantage uh, so that we can enjoy it before it got bigger where
during the uh, ride, it kind of went from day to dim. And uh, as soon as we were done, Mateo was ready to bust out and go back to the playground. He just didn't, hadn't had enough and he was just wanting to play some more. officially dark but they had the place really well lit uh, so it's great all right so after doing some walking and playing and exploring I think uh, you tend to build a little bit of an appetite so they had food trucks here and uh, food stalls and stands and it was great you had a little bit of everything to choose from All right, so once we got our food, we did head over to the big tent that had plenty of seating with tables and chairs. The kids ate a little bit, but immediately decided to get back up and enjoy the view and play. These kids are full of energy, full of life, and you just, it's, it's so, makes me, makes my heart happy to see them have such a great time and enjoy life. Uh, and also Blanca, as you could tell, she's always a kid at heart. As the kids continue to play, I did notice to the, my right side that I started all of a sudden to see other hot air balloons pop up. And so I had to tell Blanca and we had to gather up and get ready. I believe the show was, was ready to start. This is what we came for. like this whether it's this one or another one or probably the big one in another state uh, but yeah definitely a lot of fun and uh, we'll see what next weekend has for us in Texas bye ready go say bye balloons